do not be afraid be joyful jesus was born just for you when this december comes the joy of our customers fills the whole world it is because the children of god we have accepted jesus christ our living all over the world jesus christ appeared as the savior of the world he was born in bethlehem which is in the central most part of the world the world history was written with him as its center the world history was divided into bc and ad before christ and after christ at in him literally in the center of the world history is uh, jesus christ all the nations of the world amid is the people speaking various languages there are people who believe in jesus christ it is because jesus christ belongs to the whole world christmas is the day when the lord god who created the whole universe and everything in it was born when jesus christ was born into the world the angels carried the good news of his birth to the shepherds and announced it but the angel said to them do not be afraid i bring you good news that uh, that will cause great joy for all the people today in the town of uh, david a savior has been born to you he is a he is the messiah the lord look chapter 2 10 to 11 there is a two important messages for you in the message that uh, angels announced about the uh, birth of uh, jesus uh, christ do not be afraid today are you have being afraid of uh, something how will this uh, happen what uh, should should uh, we do for this the thing has happened there is something that is a cause thing you fear concerning your sickness concerning your needs concerning your children concerning your future concerning the evil people around you concerning the struggles of the devil that uh, as as an upper mist you you are afraid of something like this today god is telling you this uh, do not be afraid <clears throat> but you might be thinking the situation is like this how can one remain without uh, being afraid jesus christ is there to remove all your fears in other words jesus christ is there to perform a miracle in the very thing that you are afraid of it is because he is all powerful there is no miracle that he cannot do do not be afraid he will change all the things once there was a father who came to me for prayers i am praying for uh, such a father he is receiving blessings from lord jesus christ and also i pray for one person in even time and and go to their home and pray and heal in the name of jesus lord jesus do miracle and heal sickness he is comp- he is healed by jesus christ this incident is happening in a andhra pradesh lord today doing a miracles whoever ask for the healing lord just heal right now on this moment so pray and receive is the resurrection power by our, by the holy spirit right now lord and just you strength to your soul and your mind this is the holy words remember to us hear the word of god <clears throat> jesus christ came to the earth for the save the sinners for the save the healers uh, for save the patients and healing purpose also he came in this world also jesus christ came to the earth to relieve man of his fears and give him a life free of fear there was a reason why the message do not fear who shared when the birth of jesus christ was announced what are you afraid of 
today what ever may be that here christ will remove them for from you he will perform a miracle to cast out your fear lord jesus christ give a peace in my life also i am in a hard way lord jesus christ give a way a courageous spirit in my soul in my body in my mind in a hard way and he has saved my life from all the problems and give new strength in my life this is my personal experiences so lord jesus christ also wants a personal experiences from you right now today give your witness to others share your witness to others and also he will not uh, only remove your fears he will also give you a life free of fear all the days of your life it was for the for the it, it is it was for this that he has given the promise do not fear for i am with you as a chapter 41 10 it is enough that the lord be with you then these fears can never trouble you he will lead you and you will have no fear he will encourage you do not be afraid i am with you but the lord jesus christ will have to be with you we should examine yourself to see if jesus christ is with you he is inside in your heart in your mind in your spirit we will go to the spirit world and see lord jesus christ today many people do not realize that jesus christ is not with them and continue to think that he is with them today jesus christ is not the lives of the many people who celebrate the christmas jesus christ is not with many people who go to the church jesus christ is not with many of those who bring their offerings jesus christ is not with many of those people who pray but they live under the false notion that he is with them only when we place our faith on jesus christ and repent from all our sins and receive him into our hearts will he come into your hearts dwell with you john 1 chapter 12 verses acts chapter 20 chapter 2 38 320 20 and also you pray for the his grace and also and faith the grace and faith is mostly important to the combined the grace and mercy is combined in our life is a very necessary without grace without faith so both the grace and the faith is necessary for our human life and our human soul also consider the people consider this people before you answer this question is just christ is your heart if not ask him to come to come into your heart the day that you receive jesus christ into your heart will be the day of the real christmas this is the birthday of jesus christ it is a true that jesus christ loves the sinners but he cannot come into your sinner's heart and live there if you want to him and live in your heart then you should repent and be healed he will dwell within you repentant repentant sinner if you desire that jesus christ should true truly come and live with you then kneel down and say this prayer sincerely 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 lord jesus christ you have suffered on the cross for our sins come into my heart i believe your holy faith i believe your name is jesus christ and you have suffered on the cross and third day you, you have risen rose again from the death also and pray like this our lord jesus forgive me of my sins wash my heart clean with your precious blood come into my heart i accept you as my savior i believe your holy cross you have suffered on the cross i believe i believe in jesus name amen you will feel a change with you all the fears within within you will 
vanish. You will be able to feel presence of Jesus Christ in your heart. This is a, this is a true. <coughs> the <coughs> angel who announced that birth of Jesus Christ proclaimed, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Look, chapter 2, 10 verses. Jesus Christ came into the earth as a man so that you can live joyfully. Are you being joyful or is your joy disturbed? Some worry has stolen your joy. A worry over your needs, worry over your children. You have lost your joy due to those these worries. Today, Jesus Christ desires to remove all your worries and make you a joyful. The Lord has promised that your sorrow will turn to your joy. John 16.20 Jesus Christ said, Do not worry about food. Do not worry about the clothes. Do not worry about your tomorrow. Matthew chapter 6 and 25 to 34 verses. Jesus Christ came to the came into the earth in order to take away your sorrows and make make you happy. He gave up his life on the cross for the same reason as chapter 53, 4. Surely he took up our pain and bore our sorrow of suffering, yet we consider him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted, afflicted. Today, what are the things that are afflicting your peace? Place them at the feet of Jesus Christ. Be happy. He will witness your miracle. The greatest joy of all joys is making others happy. Try to make others happy. This Christmas instead of making yourselves happy. Our Lord, the God of all gods, came to the earth in the form of a man Jesus, not only to make us happy, but also to give happiness to all the people. Luke chapter 2 and 10 verses. Christmas joy is making everyone happy. Is a wearing new clothes and rejoicing over ourselves. The true joy of Christmas, not at all. The true joy of the celebration lies in the making other happy, others happy. Do something to make others happy. This is Christmas, but do not borrow money in order to celebrate the lavishly. Spend within your means and celebrate the modest fashion. Fashion. The Lord will bless. us with uh, we really need. At the same time, He will not bless us with things to flaunt our wealth. Loving Heavenly Father, help me and guide me by your holy words. The Holy Word remembers to us not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the others. In Christmas season, Lord, a good lesson learned by your Holy Spirit right now, Lord. We are watching this program Search a person's Lord, bless and guide us and give the real Christian customers for your children. We are suffering from the disease. Lord, you have a wounded in the strips. You, are, you have a wounded strips. You have suffered on the cross. We have receiving your heal, healing power right now, Lord. Whoever believe the right now on this moment, flow the power of the healing right now, Lord. Heal the sick persons right now in the name of Jesus. Already you have given a healing to your children. Only in, in a spirit world, we are taking your holy healing for your children. We are watching this program. We are watching the program and suffering from diseases, suffering from diseases and patients, such a patience, Lord, who ever believe your holy word and give the real power of the Holy Spirit right now, Lord, and also give us, give peace in their mind, in their soul. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.